Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and I'm excited to announce I have the first screens level done. This is a collaboration level made from viewers and subscribers where they submitted one screen levels. I combined them all to make one giant level, but I got so many great submissions I decided to make three of these. This will be the first in the series, it's called the Screens 1-1, let's start it up. All right, so the first screen I included is Jam Packed from Bruce. This is one of my favorite screens. I just think it looks really, really awesome. And on top of that, it's really fun to travel through this level. It's got some great obstacles. Here you have to dodge the red cannonball and then the black one. Down here, we got some jet engines. If you're quick, you can skip a couple at a time. The hitboxes on jet engines are a little weird, so you can actually get hit by them a little bit. This part can be really tricky until you figure out the trick to it. I'll show it to you in a minute here. You can actually sneak down the left side of these vines and slip right past these lava bubbles. Yeah, nice and easy, nice and easy. Once again, I just think this is designed really well. I really like how much challenges are packed in one little small screen. For screen number two, we have BTG Screen Queens from Snarky. This level can be a little tricky as swooping over to the left off a of vine is a little difficult sometimes. You have to be very quick here as well. If you lose this cloud, you actually lose, so you have to just take yourself out. But if you do it nice and smooth, you can enter the door and enter the next screen. This one's called the Green Room BTG Screens from Shorty. I love the costume choice on this and all the green items. There's so much green that this screen ends up looking really, really cool. I did include a checkpoint here because that bumper I just passed through can be a little bit tricky and tedious. So I thought if people got to this point, they would definitely want a few shots at it in case they got a little bit behind and attacked by that flying lava bubble. All right, next up is one of my favorite screens submitted, BTG Screen from Lee. This one's not quite a puzzle, but as you traverse the stage, you'll actually unlock more parts. There, I just took myself out as usual. This is the hardest jump, but once you get it down, it's really not that bad. This one can be a little tricky too. You have to time it out to where you can bounce off the cannonball and hit that question mark block. Mr. Drybones is super nice and he lets down some wigglers so you can hop across. Then we jump up here and we wait patient for that cannonball to go by. Hit this block so this bob will help us through. Now we can drop down here past the fire bar. Now the cannon that fell down onto the spike will help us jump up here to hit the pow block. This makes the coin fall down and activate the vine. Very clever and well thought out. Definitely put together really nicely. Next we have Dodge This from Appa. I really like this level because it's kind of timed. You have to wait for the skewer to open up the door for you. But as you do this, the level gets more and more challenging. First we have a couple cannonballs to dodge and a fire bar. Once the skewer opens up the bill blaster, then we'll have to dodge bullseye bills as well. Now we have one bullseye bill, a fire bar, and two cannonballs to dodge. But we still gotta wait for that skewer to open up the door. So as I said, this just gets more and more challenging. The way he layered the semi-solids here makes it really cool, because you can slip up through to sneak past. It's just really well put together and thought out. Now we have two bullseye bills to dodge, a fire bar, and two cannonballs. So I love how the difficulty ramps up as you wait. We're getting really close now, just a couple more breaks and we'll be good to go. Once it gets through there, we have one more hit to go. Just have to keep on dodging. And there we are. Up, down, go through the door. I had to put a forced hit here, that way the shelmet would fall on your head. This one comes from Paul Lloyd, BTV Screens Minigame. This one's really cool and it actually can somewhat break. If it does, you can enter the door and go back through. You jump up here and hit these munchers into the bob bombs. Once you get them all knocked up there, you have to run over to the right, make the buzzy beetle drop down. If you follow him, he'll take out the pow block, which will give you a key so you can go through the door. If you don't follow him, you have another option to bump up a muncher and take him out as well. This next one's called BTG The Screen's Entry, Jump For It by Waddle D6. This one's a short little challenge, but it worked out great as I hit the item limit and I had just enough items to make this screen. 
This final screen was actually made by me real quickly. I didn't have very many items left I could use, but I wanted to have one last challenge before we hit the axe and finish the level. Also like how on my screen that I made here, I kind of hid the axe a bit, so it almost looks like you're just playing another random screen. If someone's not paying attention, they'll be a little bit surprised when they run through this door and they run through these donut blocks and hit the axe. I also like how it looks like the classic Mario goes right into the pipe at the end. I thought that came out pretty cool. Alright guys, as I said, I still have two more screens levels coming. They take a little while to make, so try to be patient, please. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.